battery is dead. Wow. If you do this project, uh, don't do what I did. All right, so today we're gonna to be replacing the speakers behind these grills here on both left and right side. I believe fundamentally this change will transform this car into the audio experience that it deserves, which is similar to the 2010 model that used to have a tweeter in the door right here. And if you watch my comparison video between the 2010 and the 2016, that is a, a major thing they removed. Everything else is the same. The six inch door speakers on four, the four doors, the, the, I think it's a maybe a six or nine inch subwoofer on the back and the same dash speakers with the exception of the tweeter here. So let's get started. So I talked to a friend of mine who's really into audio. He gave me some advice on what to buy. So this is what we got here. So this is made by JL Audio. These are high end speakers, but this is the low end of the upper end, I guess. It's basically just a four inch speaker, but it has the tweeter built into it. There's different models. There's C1 all the way up to, I think, C5. And then within each, each model, there is a part number, which I think is the size of the speaker, this being a four inch speaker. So I think this number here changes. And then the X is, I think, a higher end, uh, a little bit higher end where really just some of the components here, the metal here is a little bit better. This kit right here was $79, so $40 a speaker. I think it's actually pretty reasonable for high end speakers. About the same price as all the rest of the major brands that you would go to an audio store and find anyway. So I thought, why not buy like ultra high end quality that my friend just swears by. So these I can already tell are super nice they're very heavy but yeah super super nice all right if you go to sound here at the bottom right um notice what i've done here i've put my sound all the way up to the front um because that's what gets me the most highs i've got my treble all the way to the right my mids only two clicks right of center and the bass all the way up let's look at dsp i always have all of these off the sound leveler and surround surround definitely changes a little bit but i really don't want simulated surround sound i want to hear it in the source that it's coming out so i don't have any other um, settings but these in my opinion this is the best balance with the stock audio system and I do think this is gonna fundamentally change when we put the new speakers in. So I'm really interested in to hear the difference. So I'm gonna do a quick audio demonstration just to show you the before sound, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the after sound. I'm gonna come up with something that is not copyrighted. I just pulled up some music that I played myself just to give a, a demonstration of what it's gonna sound like. Hopefully it'll come through uh, both before and after, and we can somehow measure the difference. <laughs> but here we go. All right, so that's about a twenty nine second clip. Let's just do one more just for fun. Good, well that's good enough, and now we'll get started. It's a little chilly out here, being February, but I got my coat on now. So let's, I got a little mini screwdriver here, and I'm gonna put this in here, shove it down, and just pull back, and it should pop like that. As long as you're not like really wrenching on it, you know, this is a like a, sort of like a rubber. You're not gonna mess it up. You're not gonna, you know, really do anything, so don't have to worry about it getting uh, scratched or marred up or anything like that so that see you got two little clips that hold this on and then the rest just um, fits in with an angle and there's our stock speaker which looks pretty sad 
Okay, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a 10 millimeter ratchet. These will not be very tight. Yeah, so don't wanna lose that washer. Also, you wanna be careful that you don't drop these down in. If you drop this down in there, you're probably never getting it out. Let's just say you don't, you're not gonna to wanna to go through the trouble to get it out. It's pretty much down there. Now, if you're lucky, it, it would draw, it would go all the way down to the floor, but I doubt it. All right. Oh, look at that. They gave you a little, a nice little plug. All right, so to get this clip off, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your screwdriver up in there and push, and then this will pop loose and come right off. All right, so we've got one speaker out, and the speaker actually has got a proprietary connector on it. It's still just two wires, but it's connected to all of this internally here. They've got internal, looks like riveted little, um, I don't know if that's riveted, but it looks like there's metal plates under here that are common across these and that's how they wire it all together. Um, so we're not gonna use any of that really. There's a massive size difference in magnet. <laughs> that's crazy. Include some, looks like clips. Screws we probably don't need. And then these are important because there is a wide one and a small one. Your narrow one is gonna be your black wire and the wide one is gonna be the white wire. And notice they only fit on one way. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip the wires, I'm going to strip it down, and then I'm gonna crimp this on to where the wire came off. Okay, I've got probably more tools than I need here, but let me just show you what I have here in case you need something like this. First thing is just some wire strippers that go down to 20 gauge. Then I've got a pair of pliers if I need them. I don't know how long I've been not recording. So I think my phone glitched out on me. I'm using the flat part of the pliers and squeezing down. So I'm putting it where the, the copper is just showing out a side of the sleeve. I don't, you don't want your copper wire to be pushed all the way up through and then I will squeeze right on the piece and then work my way down squeezing down Wiggling on there pretty good. Okay, this should be good. Tweeter protector off. Uh, let's see. Dashboard pieces are the stock connector well wait a minute this might be too big okay these are the bolts that came out of the car obviously they go through the existing holes but the same bolt will not go through these 
Uh, actually, what I think I'm going to do is have to have a Dremel tool here, and this should get the job done. Let's do something here. Let's take this one off. Let's make this easier. Just to make things easier, I went ahead and just bent these outer pins out and left these, not pins, but these clampy things, whatever you call these, left the inside ones there, the ones that I filed, and now it should go together easier. Let's try this again. take our cover here put it right back in the same way that it came there we go now we'll do the other side That's weird. Why would they use two different color? <laughs> so the other ones are different color, different color wires. Why would they do that? It's so dumb. Doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, you can see it's not like perfectly straight, but just to explain like what I'm doing here, this is some type of a cutting wheel that's normally used to cut, but notice it's the same surface all the way around. So I'm just, I'm just pulling and pushing just ever so slightly, just enough to basically grind it down. All right. So since the wires are a different color here, I'm going to say that the dark one is the black one and the narrow. It's the only thing I've got to go on because why would they make them different colors? It's so weird.
trying to pull it. They both feel solid. Okay, and then this, you know, if you want to push this up more, you can. Really not, not anything else you need to do there. Oh boy, I almost lost my nut over there. there we go so we got everything back together again and we're now going to uh, test this out and compare the sound it'd be interesting to see if you, on the YouTube video if you can notice a difference between the two one thing I did was I went ahead and set this back to middle and set this to be exactly how my other Lexus was set up which was the treble all the way up the mid but then the bass only two up um, so that's basically matching what the 2010 Lexus sound setting was. All right, so now I'm gonna play the 30 second clips again after the speakers have been installed with the same EQ as the 2010. Okay, so that's the first one. Definitely sounds great. I mean, the, the, the highs are there that we're missing before. Sounds great. I'm happy with it. Hope this is helpful and I'll put the link in the description if you want to check out those speakers but I'm happy with them and I'm, I'm looking forward to driving and listening to music again bye all right you can stop oh were you recording the whole time right there that's smashed down pretty good oh man I tried pulling on it just to see what would happen and sure enough it came right out so I did something wrong, apparently. Whoops. Oh, great. There it is. Okay, let's see. I'm excited about that, and, um... And that just means you need to, that just means you need to, <laughs> <laughs> quit beeping at me. <laughs> All right, well, something interesting that happened uh, after I wrapped up this video, I saw a, a message on the screen saying that, that it was shutting down devices and that beeping that was inter uh, interrupting me was actually telling me that uh, it was starting to shut down things like the heater and uh, then all of a sudden the screen went off and I'm like, what's going on here? 
And so then I was like, well, let me just try to start the car and the car wouldn't start. So basically for the duration of this video, I've had the system in, um, on, I've had the system on, I've had the lights on, I've had everything running and apparently I've been dr draining down the battery all day. So thankfully I've got a charger that I've had for a very long time. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and get the battery charged back up. Let's see, we'll set this to six amps, 12 volts. The battery is dead, wow. So I'm just gonna let this charge up. 